moon's out, beautiful full moon. That's the sunrise on Big Red. Like a little pilgrimage here. Walking past the stage and up the track. All the little dots up there are people. Wanting to see the sunrise, which is any minute now. Women solo traveling, you know, despite whatever situations have happened to them in their life, they're taking hold of their life and doing it anyway. Come with me on my journey. Mandy came, she said she would. <laughs> we both had Bad our moments. <laughs> we had our moments where we both kind of like, hmm. Arguments with our inner selves. Get out of bed, no. Get out of bed, no. <laughs> wow, well, we made it up. <laughs> I know, I had to wait a couple of minutes till I stopped panting, which is pretty pathetic. But you can just see down there, that's where the stage is. And like all of the camping is mental, isn't it? Massive. <laughs> I know. And the clouds are gone. I know, that's like the best gone. thing. And there's so many people up here. It's just of all ages. So any fitness can get up here if you just take your time. And it's just utterly beautiful. And we're on top of the world's biggest red sand dune. And that's in the background. You can see that's out to the Simpson Desert, full of water. And even the reverse. Sunrise behind us is beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, so special. A lot of sad looking faces. I don't know why they're not smiling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we'll do. Are you staying for yoga? Yes, yes, yes. So. Yeah, we'll do a bit of yoga. Get, get Rolly dressed up as a girl. <laughs> yeah, your husband. I yeah, know the drag race yeah, is doing so fun. Today, so he gets to sleep in for a bit longer to prepare for that. So. <laughs> Well, a lot of preparation. <laughs> but the most beautiful thing is, like what we just said, it's not raining. It's our first morning, my first morning up here. This is my first morning. Got out of bed. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> and that in the background is a big, is it a full moon today or is it a full moon tonight? Tomorrow. Very close to a full moon, which would explain my behaviour last night. <laughs> So we are waiting down here with everybody to do yoga and we try to be part of a world record apparently. Five I know, I know. It's like, oh another world record we can be part of. But I think it's like five hundred people is the record or something to, for doing yoga in one place. So I feel like if all these people register, we, we're gonna totally nail that. Your arms straight like you're being pulled, your shoulders are down your back, and we're gonna hinge from our hips. Up at the highest point. Hey Mandy. There she is. I know, good morning. We've just done out yoga and we're just thinking die straights now. <laughs> and that's Bashville down there. It's so awesome. We're so grateful that we got out of bed at like I don't know, I was up a quarter to seven. This is still dark here at quarter to seven. Hopefully broke a world record of over five hundred people. And now we're just enjoying the view because it's so good. Like really embracing. We've got Harley Quinn here, and we've got I don't know an Australian Spice Girl. Here. Yeah. <laughs> You're looking sort of like unimpressed. It's still early. <laughs> yeah, it is early. Oh, feather duster and all. Oh, wow. oh, oh, gorgeous. Oh, my dress is coming today. Yeah, my husband. Right. Like, <laughs> oh, you look so pretty. Doesn't like my beard going real well. You know what we suffer through now. There is something about men dressing up as women. <laughs> it's kind of hot. <laughs> they kind of love it. I mean, look at these guys. They're so fabulous. And they're doing the big trek up the hill, up to the top, <laughs> to run, to get up there, and then they run all the way back down again. Then they run through Bashville, 
to the end. Tay, go Tay! <laughs> That's a little promiscuous. Oh, lovely. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Love it. Woo. Oh, that's the bomb shot. The big red run, 250 kilometres through the Simpson Desert. But I thought, oh, let's do a let's do a little running race as part of uh, part of this. But I didn't really want it to be serious. Didn't think too many more people would want to run 250 kilometres. So we came up with a bit of a, a novelty race concept. I, I come up with the idea of, well, let's uh, have a bit of a drag race. Get everybody dressed up in, in sort of a draggy style, and we can call it the drags. The prize goes to our. Number one dragster. Well, look at this. It's um, our third day in, second day of the festival, but our third day in. And look at this. It's like no rain. I'm wearing a singlet top. <laughs> the sun is magnificent. No clouds in the sky. This is what it's like out here. And if you look at the ground, I'll show you that in a second. It's got cracks in it already. Like it's just dried up completely. The beautiful thing is there's no dust. See, normally there would be dust here, but because of the rain, it's compacted the soil and the dust is for right now, not there. So it's pretty awesome, pretty excited. One thing I have noticed, you know, being a solo traveler now for a little while, is you have to do all the jobs yourself. So I'm cleaning up the caravan and doing all the cooking and the cleaning and, you know, my bucket uh, emptying duties and, running around and just making sure everything's fine with the van you know checking the power like this morning all my power had drained so I had to sort that out um, just monitoring all that stuff all by myself because there's no one to share those duties with <laughs> it has been um, unique I was so used to always camping with my partner now I'm sort of doing it by myself I have to be accountable for all these things so anyway yeah it just dawned on me it's like wow it's hard work camping on your own it's so fulfilling still but it is a lot more work when you are solo and you have to be thinking all the time thinking like a man and thinking like a woman at the same time another thing I've really noticed about when you're traveling on your own is that I am constantly locking up the van every time I leave because there's no one here guarding it. <laughs> I used to come and go as I pleased. I'd hear a song that I loved and I'd run over to the stage and be like, oh my God, this is my favorite song. And I'd be over there. Now I've got to think about, well, what's out? You know, do I have to put things away, lock it all up? Because there's no one here. So security is a massive issue, I think, when you are traveling on your own and something to be really mindful of. Having a little bit of serious FOMO, Shorty. Should we be down there or up here for the angels? <laughs> I know where we should be for the angels. Down there? I know, I know. I'm thinking I'm going to be up here for a little while and down there soon. It is cool up here though, it's awesome. Great perspective, you can still dance, but it's the angels. How beautiful is it though? Like seriously, this place. The sun is setting up there. The plan was like nibblies and drinks and cheese and bickies and civilised, but it's the angels. <laughs> oh my god. These are the serious punters here. We're all thinking about having yeah. a mass exodus. Yeah. <laughs> Love 20 kilos of beer and all this up here. Oh, jeez. We'll drink it and then go down the hill. Walking out to the Angels with Dover on top of Big Red. <laughs> it's total commitment, Daniel. That's all I can say. You have total commitment to the cause. Right everywhere. I know. We love her. I'm starting to love her a lot. Gonna steal my technique. Oh, oh, oh see, second competition. Pretty nice competition. way to spend the so night. So what are you aiming for? Seven and a half or something? Five. 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 Oh my God, Jeez. he's called it. You dream of the top. <laughs> <laughs>
So we came up for the most beautiful sunset photos. I'm so glad we did. It's never as good on video as it is, but look, look at that. It's just majestic. It's the sun setting over the Simpson Desert. Nice, you know, up on top of the world's tallest sand dune. Red sand. <laughs> Kids playing. It's so lovely. There's, <laughs> oh my God, Daniel with his Delta sign. Just a representative for MDC owners group today <laughs> but if I come back I would definitely come back as some kind of animal how fun we're all getting ready for the nut bush and going for the world record it's heaps of fun oh you guys are so beautiful oh show me what you look like Jackie oh look at you two together oh you're just a <laughs> just lining up now for the nut bush with all of my thousands of friends. <laughs> We're going for the world record. Which is so good. Oh, I love it. What was the inspiration? What was the inspiration for being a hippo? Um, to have fun at what Big Red Bash. Oh. Ten years. Ten years, I know. Ooh, the hippo of the year and the cow. <laughs> I gave it to me and I thought, okay, this is good. Oh, that's so gorgeous. I love it. Well, this is helping us out. today and gave me her front row seat or tickets to being in the <laughs> here I am in the first row of the nut bush so thank, you, thank you so much so we're going to cue the music and when you hear the music you <laughs> after doing the nut bush how outstanding was that seriously so fun i'm gonna wear this hat all day i just love it and raising money for royal flying doctor service we're going for a world record as well which was just tremendous to be part of it the mdc owners group and the vibe and the people that are here like i knew it was going to be good but i didn't know it was going to be this good the people i've met how welcoming they are and it's run completely independently from mdc well, they just do it because they love camping they love the product but they love each other and they love the community spirit and they want to be part of something like i really get it so i thought i would just sit down and enjoy the music and buy myself a burger or something instead of cooking so i've got like a juice and a chicken parmi burger from the Arancini place behind me and it's all right but this whole thing costs 30 bucks so if you're coming out to the bash bring your money expect to be paying for desert tax but you know what it's i'm sure it's gonna taste beautiful i mean you're not gonna get fed here for a bargain so bring your own food if you're on a budget but it is really nice just to relax and sit out here like it's a real cafe i mean look at the view we've got here it's pretty bloody good look at how dusty this is seriously like it's
Yeah.